In a previous video, I talked about cycles in general and how they affect our lives. This is the first video where I'm going into the specifics of this, talking about the cycles that we often get trapped in and their counterpoints. So, to begin with, I will be addressing the cycle of lies. It's a simple one, a foundational one to the entire understanding of cycles because of how direct it spreads and how it works. It's a perfect case example for what I'm talking about here. For example, if you tell a lie to a friend that you can't be somewhere with them because you have an important engagement with your family, well then, you've, you've now told a lie, right? Now, what happens if they call your house, right, and you're not there, and your family says they don't know anything about this engagement? Well, you're caught in a lie. What do you have to do then if you want to keep things going? Well, you have to lie again, don't you? Oh, well, I thought X was going to happen, but it didn't, and I got involved in this instead, and you have to lie again. And then, if they're suspicious of you, they can keep calling you on it, checking out your individual lies, and then you have to keep perpetuating the web. You have to keep track of every other lie you told. Or let's say, you know, you lie to your parents, right, is a nice nifty example. About anything. Oh, I, I did something when you didn't, you know, or whatever. Well, you have to keep lying to sustain it unless you actually go on and do the thing you said. And that's where the cycle begins. Once you tell the first lie, unknowingly perhaps, you've started yourself down a cycle where your only two options then become out yourself as a liar and mitigate the damage or keep lying and hope for the best. And, and let's all be honest here, once you start spinning that web, unless you have a real damn good control of it, you're going to lose control of the lies and you're going to get caught. This is an inevitable truth of it. The more you lie, the more you have to lie. And the more you have to lie, the more likely it is you're going to get caught in the lie. And the more times you have lied, the more likely it is that consequences of some kind are coming down on you. So, what do you do about that? Well, you don't lie. That's, that's really what it comes down to. And that's another thing as to why I chose this one to start with. Because it's such a simple cycle to counter. Don't lie. If you're trapped in the cycle already, stop lying. Yes, I know, it can be hard once you're stuck in there to break it because you're trapped in lies now. You have to keep lying, you feel like, or else you'll be in so much trouble, right? Well, perhaps, but here's the catch. If you out yourself and are honest about it, and note, hey, I was lying, I felt trapped, this is a bad thing, I'm sorry, but now I'm trying to come clean, you'd be surprised how many people can forgive it. You'd be surprised how many people will understand where you're coming from because pretty much everybody ever has been entrapped in, in the cycle of lies at least once. Everyone's lied to their parents at least once. Everyone's lied to somebody at least once and has been caught up in this whole circus. Everyone knows. And if someone says, well, I've never lied, well, they just did. <laughs> so let's talk about the counterpoint, eh? Let's talk about the opposite to this cycle, the positive cycle that one can have instead of that negative one. And it's the cycle of truth, which is truth begats truth. The telling of truth continues to repeat itself. If you start yourself by telling truth, you've set yourself up to continue to tell the truth and be honest because you've already been honest. Just like with lies, you have to keep telling lies to support the lies. Well, once you've told the truth, you can stand by that truth and keep being truthful. If someone says, well, what about this? Oh, I don't like that. I would rather not do that. Well, you may hurt their feelings a little bit. Let's say it's a friend, right? But you know what? You've been truthful. You can keep being truthful with them. Well, why don't you use it something with me? No, 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 it's not. It's just this thing, I don't like that. Nothing new with you. You can clarify. You can work with things. You can compromise from there, reach understandings. None of that can happen with lies, though. Once you begin the cycle of lies... The only way to stop it is by going to truth. So why not just start yourself off with truth and keep a positive cycle going in your life? And like any cycle I'm going to address, it is a choice. It's something where you choose to begin a negative cycle or a positive cycle. And you can change once you've begun. You can stop a positive cycle and start a negative one just as much as you can do the, ver the reverse. Just keep that in mind while you're thinking about all of this. 
you can break the cycle of lies by being truthful, just as you can break your own cycle of truth by starting to tell lies. Just something to think about.